When Jesus came, he spoke to his disciples. He said, the master of this world is coming, but he have nothing in me. But he's coming to show you that I love my father. So the devil comes, he have nothing in me, but I want to show you I love my father. If you punch me, I'm not gonna punch you back. If you come to kill me, I will forgive you. I want to show you I love my father. I do what my father tells me. Jesus came to know, know his will, but the will of the father. The will of the so, Father for you, that, that you shall not perish. That's how you demonstrate. That's how you demonstrate your love for God. Obedience. Just answer you love question. God, you obey God. You obey God. That's the way you love God, you obey God. I see. Okay. You cannot love God, you do, don't obey God. Your God had 3,000 people killed because they built it. Um, the devil kills. It's not because the devil is a criminal. Oh, is it the devil that killed the free soldier? The devil kills. He's a criminal. He's not God. He's not God. Let me, let me, let me. Yes, the devil is a criminal. Excuse me, excuse yes. me, excuse me. When Moses went up to Mount Sinai and yes. spent all that time up there, when he came back down from the tablet, he saw that the people had built an ornament there of the power. Uh -huh. No, came, one moment he became very angry. Yeah. He smashed the tablet. Yes. And he ordered three thousand of them dead. Three thousand of them dead was murdered. And in the wilderness, the chosen people, some of the chosen people, mourned that they were angry. And God had their head cut off and put on spikes as an example. Are you? Are you sure you? Are you sure you're on this planet? So what Moses told what you're saying to me is Moses what you what you're saying Shoes. what you're saying to me is what you're saying to me here is that you love God and you obey God who is loving, who is forgiving. But he destroyed Sodom and Megorah. Even Abraham said to him, the master, are you gonna kill the sinners with the good people? And he said to him, if you can find me 50 of the people who are not sinners, then I won't destroy it. He even went down to 10%, he said, if you can find them. Well, I'm showing the whole population you will find 10% of innocent children. Let me tell you what else he said that you don't even know. He, he ordered his army to kill every man, every woman, every child. Save those who have not slept with women and save them among yourself. Today, you go to prison for that. My friend, my friend, God has absolutely no need. God loves you exactly the same way as He loves Hitler. There can be no difference. God cannot judge because unconditional love cannot judge. You believe in a God that's conditional. So, so if you believe in a God that's conditional, it's understandable. I mean, I think Lucifer is an honest person. And I'll tell you why I think he's honest. Because he says, I'm jealous. I'm a man of war. I'm vengeful. I'm all of these things. That's what, that's what your God said. And yet you can imagine that your God would say these things and do these things. And then turn around and tell me that he's loving and he's forgiving. Then I think you need to you, you should think that you cannot live a godly life, a loving life, without serving the God of the Scripture. But I'm telling you, you're wrong. You can do that. Because you are naturally enough. You are born out of that life. When you want to live a life that is conditional. You need to understand something. Also, the Bible said, the sinners love the sinners. Even the sinners have love. But the love the of God is love different. The love of God is different. When you love God, different. In what way? Different love. In what way? You know, you told me about Sodom and Gomorrah. When God promised, if I will find 50 people righteous, I will not gonna kill that city because of that 50 people. And when God said, if I found 10 people righteous, I'm not gonna kill that city because of that 10 people righteous. But Abraham challenged the mind of God. Abraham said, Lord, will be 
only fair for those who work evil to have the right uh, reward as those people who work good. And Abra got it with the minute. This man, he loves me, he lives righteous. I cannot give these people who work evil to disobey me. I cannot give the same reward as those. You see, if I am godly in the earth, I live humble life with God, and this man is always killing people, he's not going to come with me to heaven. We will not going to have the same reward from God. He's going to be punished. God never live a humble God never live a humble life. God, God this is what God did. This Je is this is what Jesus God came done. into the temple this is and the house of God. Jesus came into the temple. What Jesus did? Jesus he beat people up. That people they make business in the house of God. You see you're not going to challenge well, God. Actually beat you will never up. change God. You will never say God you are loving God. Let me do whatever I want in your house because you are a lovely God. No one can change God. God is holy. Holy? Yes. What does holy mean? God is holy. What does it mean, holy? Light. Huh? Not that it is light. Well, what does holy mean? Light. What does light mean? Light is information. Light, light is who you are. When you look at the sun, you see the sun very light. It's no darkness on it. It's very light. See, that's the way God is. So, God loves you. But God will not allow you to, to make his honor to God will not allow you to challenge him from light to darkness. Never. But everything about him is everything about your God, God is darkness. Gives free choice. God said free choice. Yeah. One moment. To you. One moment. One moment. In this scripture that you have, there's 671 laws in it. I want to read it. One please. moment. Yes. There's 600 and one moment. Yes. There's 671 laws in here. That's an impingement upon our free will. Upon our free will. What do you mean he gave you a free will and he would never tell you what to do? It's ridiculous and silly. It tells you. It tells you what to do. We can't get tell you what to do if you have a free will, do you? Having a free will is to go and do as you like. I declare What to are you, you doing today? that for? Femme. Huh? I declare to you today are you that you shall well? surely perish. Look what he said. I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live you shall not live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan. I call the heaven and the earth to witness against you today that I have said before you life and death. So God loves you. God said before you life and death, you choose blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your children might live, loving the Lord your God, obeying His voice. So God loves you so much. God gives you free will, free choice. So you need to choose life or death. If you choose life, it means you want to love God, obey His voice. If you are given a free will, if one is given a free will, does that mean to do as one pleases? Or a free will means only to do what God tells you to do? You have free will. Obey the devil or obey God. Serve oh. the devil or serve God. It's your choice. That's right. But, but if you serve one, the devil, you die. One, one moment, one moment. Okay, I, I, I understand. I'm uh, I understand what I understand what you're saying. But you cannot say what you're free will. A free will means to do as you choose. That is, if you want to serve badness, you serve badness. If you want to serve goodness, you serve goodness. But a free will does not mean giving laws and commandments to live with. I mean, have a look at how the laws are spared. How many laws in this country here? We have four about 7,000 laws in this country. We have children. Yes. You give them free will. Yes. But you teach them what to do, what not to do. No. Right? If your children want to put fire in the house, no, you, you teach them, don't do that. It's going to be no, dangerous. What I do is... What so I that's do God with moment. you. God with people. God gives you free will, but also God teaches you how to work out. You agree with me?
So let's, let me pray for you that you receive salvation. Let me pray for you that you receive Jesus Christ. So you love your children, you give them And I love you too. I love you too. Yes. I love you. No, you, no, no, you pray for you. No, I don't you. want to be prayed for. No, no it's... Listen. I don't wish to be prayed for. Listen. I want... I, want, I wish... Listen. Who's your right? What's your name? My name is Bruno. What is your you name? name? You can be my father. What is your I name? I speak you. What is your name? Marius. 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 My name is Vernon. Yes. Please speak. Yes. Yeah. I'm a young and, boy. And, and I, I, you can be my father. But I want to tell you something. I experienced my life with God. I know what I'm doing. I am glad. I'm glad. I, think I, I agree with you. You don't like to serve the God who's a criminal. You want to serve God. I don't want to serve love. anyone. I want to serve me. You want to serve you? Yes. Uh. Very simple. By acknowledging, by acknowledging that I am part of God, that everything that God has is, 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 is within me. I'm trying to understand that which is in me, to look inside of me. For how long are you going to serve you? For how long? Pardon? For how long do you want to serve you? For, for as long as I am on the planet. But when I died, where do you go? Heaven or hell? There is no such thing. It means believe. I come back. You come back, you have eternal life. You see, nothing about God. So you don't believe hell and heaven? No. Neither do I believe. Neither do we like I believe that you can die and that's just We are eternal. And how, okay. how do you know that we are eternal? You see these people, you, you see people around you. Everybody serves themselves. They work hard to make money, to build their house, to build their life. That's they the serve themselves. The But when you serve God, you serve other people. You look for the poor, for the homeless. You go to share your bread with them. That's the way you serve God. I'm talking to you. You have to serve others. I'm talking not to you. serve yourself. Serve God. Well, I serve myself by understanding myself, and by understanding myself and understanding the God within me, I'm able to speak to others about it. So I'm sharing the same way. You do it in one way. I do it in a different way. So do you believe Jesus as your Lord and Savior? No. I, no, I believe that he and John were ascended masters who visit our planet to tell us the truth. And, I, and, and according to what I read, I think they were very successful in doing it. But what is a belief? I believe that, that belief has no foundation. Belief changes all the time. Truth can never change. That's the difference. Okay. Anyway, it's very nice talking to you, Mario. Mario, I don't wish to be prayed for. Close your eyes, No, I don't do that. All the best. Love you. Love you. And you. You see, the Bible said, the Bible said that uh, he who don't believe in Jesus is condemned. That's what the Bible said. I can't challenge people. But God can do that. We are here to share with the door of God, teach them the ways of life. From now on, the Lord God will do the rest. Bless you. Thank <laughs> you.